Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who will never see our worth. And sometimes we have to take our power back by using affirmations, visual inspirations, and meditations. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher. Please do me a favor and like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you work it on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six, mean and have my back, because I have yours. Thank you, and I love you guys. Guys, it is me, Phoenix. We're going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Um, we are going to pull from the Spiritual Journey Oracle, the Evolution of the Soul, the Lenormand deck, and then I am going to pull from the Empathetic Tarot deck. In the process of this, if I need to clarify, I will clarify with a different card, uh, excuse me, with a different um, Oracle deck or maybe Tarot, tarot deck. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see where the energy is with the spiritual journey that we all have been going on or going through. Uh, practice unconditional love. Something about Practicing unconditional love is like art for you to forgive a person, place, thing, or situation. But you've been channeling unsure energies, igniting your passions. Um, yeah, you've been channel channeling being able to ignite your passion, but you can't get over the unconditional love portion of the situation. And so sometimes you have to let it go. Living consciously, this came out in my last read. Sometimes you have to let it go. Sometimes you have to let go of the... Uh, resentment which was in my last read as well and be able to move forward from the past pain and the past lessons because pain equals out to lessons so I'm gonna pull from the evolution of the soul you've been evolving unsure energy about your responsibilities and the things that you've done take a responsibility for your life and so when it comes to the unsure energy of the responsibilities that you have it's so much easier for you to um, it's so much easier for you to, um, take on other people's issues instead of your own. And so therefore the responsibilities, your responsibilities are at the back burner. And when it comes to life path number seven, yeah, uh, you become a loner, intelligent, intuitive, analytical, a brilliant mind and a unique and unique views won't settle for just anybody. Now you're at the point to where you realize you're learning the lessons about living consciously, which says, Make decisions in your life that are not by happenstance, but rather by consciousness. Um, choose uh, for the betterment in your of your life and for others. This was at the bottom of the deck, um, I think, if I remember straight. And so burning karma is here. It says burning off past bad karma. Step towards soul freedom, advancing towards your true potential. And that's the part of you understanding that. You have to be able to forgive in order to move on and you have to go after your passions and not just be your passions and your responsibilities and not just channel uh, healing energy for others. And it's hard. And that's about why we become the loner, because we take on a lot of people's energies. And that's a hard pill for us to swallow, especially when it comes to the way that we love. So with that being said, I'm going to pull from the love situation deck. My nose is stopped up. <clears throat> I don't know. I was I got sick last week, but um, now I'm just my nose is kind of stopped up. So if you hear it, you do. I'm fine though. But yeah, so when it comes to certain situations, you have to understand what it is that you need to do. Okay, so pulling from the love um, situation deck, it says broken promises at the bottom of the deck. You've been misled. Trust is broken and unreliable. This is when we start to ignite our passions when it comes to the burning karmic energy that we've been around and then we start living consciously but it takes a minute to get to that point and so that's fine you know we just have to understand what are the love situations and this could be a relationship this tried to come out so i'll go ahead and take it this could be a relationship this could be any kind of situation to where you've given your all to and you have to pull your energy back and the energy comes with love activation again there's an awakening, there's a heart space opening and twin flame ascension. So you have to challenge channel. It says you have the ability to convey messages through spirit in the 5D. You have to pull your energy away in the 5D, 
channel this energy of sending strength and healing. So it says this is achieved with a quiet mind, removing expectations and openness to receive love activation. This is the same thing. You know, this is because we give our heart too freely. We start to our passions. Yeah. And we have to separate our energies. Our passions come from, um, you know, the way that we give love, the way that we help and uh, putting more responsibility, uh, putting more of our responsibilities on the back burner. And uh, when it comes to a finality, this is when we start to uh, live consciously by activating, you know, um, our uh, passions or whatever, or igniting our passions. But uh, practicing unconditional love is when we pull back our energy and we separate. And that's when the activation happens because we start to really see that we kept our responsibilities on the back burner and we put ourselves on the back burner. Showing love to yourself and other promo and others promote healthy relationships. Criticisms of others may be a reflection of what you may need to heal. So the criticism, they're criticizing you because you are not. Um, you, how do I say this? They're criticizing you because they can't uh, of their their weaknesses, right? Um, because they can't be you. They don't know how to unconditionally give love. So you have to separate yourself, look at that, and know that this love activated some type of healing and made you put your responsibilities on the forefront and understand that when it comes to you being a loner, it's because your intuitive nature pulls any uh, energies from other people. And this is when you, they start to take your kindness for weakness, but they will make you feel like you're less than until they, until you really just pull your energy apart. Close that door. Until you really j just pull your energy apart. Sorry, that's my nephew. I'm not sorry, but that's my nephew. Um, you know, until you pull your energy away from there. And yeah, I understand what really means the most to you. Family room is here, but this is the dynamic of the family room. Then the messages of concern comes when you stop inviting them into your home or into a situation to where you had, because you had to separate, withdraw, disconnect, test of love. Huh? You want me to make you pancakes? All right, give me five minutes. You know, until you, um, your love starts to be put to the test. And that's the love activation that we have to experience. And those are the ebb and flows of life for us to get to a point to where we are actually literally doing the things that we love and need to. Lover's energy tried to turn over. If it comes out, I'll take it. If it doesn't, it just doesn't. But, you know, that's what we have to learn. These cards all fell out on the ground. So, yeah. When you're dealing with a false person, this is the gift that you give yourself, the gift of closure, permanent endings, no more chances, goodbye to the old. And that's you learning to live consciously and understanding the karma, the lessons of the bad karma or the burning karma, the past energies. And so when we get to that, messages of concern is because nine times out of ten, we pull our energy back. Let me go make him some pancakes really fast. He's down there playing with my grand dog too. All right, hold on one second. That was fast. I'm back. So, yeah, he got his pancakes, and he's a happy camper now, um, if you can hear him. So he's a happy camper now. So here we go. When it comes to that, that's the reason why we have uh, concerns. And then the nurturing creator is right here, the empress. People finally start to see the beauty when you start to change, and uh, uh, based upon their childish actions and childish ways. So their thoughts change of you and then you know not only are you they consider you know they they contemplate on saying that you're a mature person they try to slander you and think that you're a false person but this is where they have to get over this energy of them realizing that it was really them and you were always the mature person all along no matter what situation this is or no matter who you're dealing with the separation of a cancer, especially an empathetic cancer, someone who always has to channel, you know, and be open to receive love and to see the beauty in a person, that we are the gifts to people. And, you know, don't get me wrong, not all cancers are like that. So let's just, you know, let's just put it out there that, you know, it's the point, yeah, that these things, these traits are learned because we can be toxic in certain situations but when it comes to painful painful transformations tower energy sometimes you got to tear down the limited structures you built for yourself to move forward rebuild better stronger and wiser that's because the love activation and the separation has to happen but at some point we have to be a little bit more cruel and take in consideration that we're putting ourselves on the back burner and it hurts 
you know, that's why we're the phoenixes. We rise from the ashes, you know, but we have to pull back, use our intuition and understand that, you know, the analytical side of us has to come out and that's the queen of swords energy. And when that person comes out, we won't just settle for anything anymore. And it does take years to get to that point. And accelerating quickly is the communication and also the concerns of people. Now people feel like you've changed. And it's like, I have changed. I've grown. And I've grown enough to stop letting you walk over my boundaries that I have never put in place. So you start to put things in place. And here it is. They are concerned because now they feel like you're being childish. They're thinking heavily about it. But in actuality, this is their energy. They're thinking that you're childish and you haven't grown and that you're false and you fake and you haven't been the person that you were all along. And that's not, that's not the truth. You gave the gift of love to yourself and you recognize your responsibilities. And also you had to ignite your passions. And so that's how I see that energy. And it's a hard pill to swallow. But when it comes to setting your priorities to a coins, making decisions, not juggling them, making them uh, again, analytical decisions, you know, accelerating quickly and also at the point to where you are recognizing that your openness to receive comes with a price. And so openness to receive when it comes to seeing the beauty, yes, yeah, smothering creator, when it comes to you smothering your creativity on other people respectfully, not in a bad way, you're, you're putting energy in to them for them to heal. And when it comes to the Six of Swords, you have to realize to walk away because, again, you're, you're ha you have to celebrate your wins and also have balance in your life, temperance, energy, right? And so that's a hard thing when it comes to making decisions, hard overhead decisions, and your responsibilities as an empathetic nature depends solely on how you feel King of Wands energy. Hey, King of Wands energy when it comes to overbearingly goal-oriented or dependently goal oriented meaning you depend on codependent energies people's energies and you don't take care of your responsibilities until you get to a point to where you have to you have no other choice does that make sense and so that's where the five of cups energy the insight and knowledge to know that this is a healing loss and also a haunting loss at the same time but this is in order for you to activate your energy you know this is in order for you to activate your energy and separate yourself from these people and know what your responsibilities are and so that is how i see that energy and that's the completion that you have to have world energy knight of cups energy flowing attraction you have to be able to this reminds me of tom cruise um go after the things that you want but also know that your loving compassion and understanding for people places and situations are what cause you stagnation so you have to have a decision to give the gift to yourself of ending things that no longer serve you but with the tower the tower energy says sometimes we have to tear down the limiting structures we have built for ourselves to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that doesn't mean it's, it's, it's permanent. It just means that this is in order for you to activate your life path number seven. And that is your intellectual, intuitive, analytical self. And also realize that you are a brilliant mind and you have unique views of how you see the world, but also that you just won't settle for anyone. And that is why sometimes we stay in hermit mode because it's easier instead of us trying to get back out of hermit mode and to find a new love or to go back to the people who deplete us or who not necessarily deplete us, who teach us these lessons in regards to their burning karma. And we start to become karmic. And so with us living consciously is understanding that the best way to do this is not to keep giving our energy to other people, but to pull our energy back. And that's why I created the Empathetic Oracle, which is my deck. Just 24 emotions that we go through, I go through, in regards to love, yeah, and how I see love and how I want to be loved. But this is what you dream about. This is seeing the potential in people. And basically seeing the potential in people causes hurt. And that's what love is to us, is us dreaming about the could, coulda, woulda, shouldas, but didn't. And also because we live in the past, which causes fear, and also live in the future, which causes anxiety. We don't know uh, until we have an activation of, you know, separating ourselves to go after our passions and stuff like that, which is fiery because we get into that point of being the queen of swords energy. When the fire comes from our heart, it's like pull back your energy. Don't, don't do this. Don't do that. If that makes sense. I don't know. 
somebody needs to hear that. This card that keeps falling over in the childish one because I haven't I haven't shuffled it uh, shows its face every time. But yeah, we become invincible. We become the Spider Man, um, and you know people think that we're being sneaky again, childish. But that's not the case. It's like our childhood trauma and early influences caused us to get to this point. So there you have it, and we start to reflect. But that not only do we start to reflect about the self awareness of what we do in the past, we also use spiritual uh, answers and guidance, and use and trust our intuition in order for us to be able to move forward. If that makes sense, so. That is how I see that. Let's go ahead. Well, don't take anything personal. That stayed out there. So that is what I'm going to keep um, when it comes to, um, it says, see other people as they are, uh, seeing the potential in other people. This is a message that needed to come out. So the reflections of, of how we see people and understanding where we go through and what we are, where we are, and how we openly invite people into our home until we don't, then they think that we're childish. This is why. You need to see people as they are and not try to see the potential or the future energy or not to even look at the past of their hurts and pain and their karmic energy. You have to heal yourself and you have to know when to set the boundaries and the lines. When you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it's okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. And so therefore, them not being perfect um, and you understanding that you'll be able to pull your energy back and not keep pouring and pouring and pouring into them because your practicing of unconditional love is why you have gotten to the point of stagnation of dealing with situations years and years and years after and either it be a healing or a haunting loss uh, once this person goes out of your uh, life and that could be temporary could be permanent but when we start to take things personally that's when it gets to a point to where we have to understand that, you know, we had to learn a lesson. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. So, um, again, stay tuned. I'll put the links in the description up at the top. Um, when it comes to the four agreements or actually the fifth agreement, the four, one through four, mastering that, and then understanding the fifth agreement and also the crystal deck, which is uh, learning the chakras. So this is the throat, third eye, and crown chakra. Communication, higher self, and intuition. It says, I'm in touch with the universe. I'm in touch with the universe. And once you know that you're in touch with the universe, you understand the difference between unconditional love and igniting your passions and channeling the energy from the universe and being open-minded to receive and also to give and re realizing why your life path number seven, you being a life path number seven or understanding the separation and why it needs to happen is because it's a reflection of the things that you have not set up the the boundaries and the things that you didn't set up in the beginning so there you have it i love you guys stay tuned for the affirmation now let's say an affirmation i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions and remember addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Have a nice day.